All right, we're getting into match two with the Pioneer Seasons Past No Win Condition deck. <laughs> we lost the die roll. We got a whole bunch of tapped lands and some spells. Opponent mulligans. I mean, we have mana fixing. And we have things to do, we just don't have untapped lands yet. I still think it's worth keeping. Yeah, I'll keep it. We have a decent amount of removal, we have interaction with the hand if we need it, we have a wrath if we need it, and we have a necromentia if we're playing a against a deck that necromentia is good against. Layer of the Hydra. Looks like they're playing mono green. Could be beat down, could be mono green ramp, we'll see. Field of Ruin. That comes in untapped at least. Let's play Hissing Quagmire, go. See if we can figure out which form of mono green our opponent's playing. Old Growth Troll. Okay, makes it, that definitely makes it look like they're playing the beatdown list. So we can either go Field of Ruin, Collective Brutality, Kill Lanor Elves, maybe look at your hand here. Or we can play a tapped land and try to Necromancia next turn. Or Rup Decay next turn. I think I want to get rid of Lanor Elves and look at their hand because they might have collected company otherwise. So let's escalate. Neg 2, Neg 2, reveal your hand. They also might have Aspect of Hydra. We'll get rid of Suffocating Fumes, I think. Yeah, we'll get rid of Suffocating Fumes. Two Burning Tree Emissaries in hand. Okay. And hopefully we'll draw another untapped land so we can play Languish on our fourth turn and get rid of their board. If we play... Hmm. If we draw a... Untapped land here, we're gonna Field of Ruin, their, la their layer of the Hydra. And then we can play Woodland Cemetery, Cemetery because it'll come in untapped. And then we can Wrath the board. But we're going to take a bunch of damage before that, and old, and old Growth Troll is going to come back. So that kind of sucks. Alright, that's not what we were looking for, really. Alright, Hissing Quagmire. We're in danger, we're in danger. Let's take this top off of our opponent's draw step for now. Hopefully, just having tapped land isn't going to kill us here. Especially since our opponent had to mull again. And they didn't have a great hand last time we looked at it. Okay, thank god. Languish. Yep, yep. Okay, he's gonna be able to get a 4-4 back now if he wants to. But he has to sacrifice his land for it at least. Yikes, yikes, yikes. And he has a layer of the Hydra he could have- ooh, collected company. We might just be dead here. Only getting an, an old growth troll? At least we're not dead. We're close to dead. We can take- okay, I think now we're dead, because Nykthos taps for Six Devotion, I think, and then he can pump up Layer of the Hydra. Yeah, Six Devotion. Well... That was unfortunate. If we had a little bit... We didn't even really need more interaction. We, need, we needed to interact more by having, like, a basic land so that we had more untapped things. But... Now we're just dead. So our opponent is gonna animate Layer of the Hydra can pump their things up with Vivian and then kill us. Huh. Okay. 
Well, we definitely bring in Graft Digger's Cage because that's good against Collected Company and also the Troll. He's probably playing four Vivians and no other Planeswalkers, if I had to guess. Because this version of the deck doesn't usually play the five mana Nessa. So let's see. Graft Digger's Cage in. Crypt Incursion in. Noxious Grasp in. Fog in. And Cry the Carnarian in. And we want to get rid of... Hmm. Go Blank doesn't seem good. Because usually by the time that we're stabilized enough that we care about the cards left in their hand instead of their board, they're going to be empty-handed anyway. And they don't really have graveyard shenanigans other than the instant speed recursion of uh, the giant. All the wraths are good. Necromancia... I don't think I really care about. It would be good to get like Vivian with that, so maybe I'll keep it in, we'll see. I don't really care about Soul Guide Lantern. Don't really care about Balagad Recovery. Don't really care about Crucible of Worlds. Well. Do we want Crucible of Worlds just for recursive land drops? Is the question. I guess not. And then we can have Necromantra for their Vivian so that they can't wish for a creature out of their sideboard. I think that that's fine. Maybe there's an argument that we should bring in the one of Carnage Tyrant just because it blocks well against most of their stuff. Hand's slow, but it has our fixing and it has a thought seize for interaction early. I'll try it. Maybe this Thought Seize will be able to get them off tempo enough that these other cards will matter more, or we'll have a chance to matter. We'll see. We really need to get a Wrath. Forest, Nykthos, Nykthos. So they're kind of hurting for mana. We'll take Llanowar Elves. They have a Garrick's Harp. Harbinger, which is kind of a pain in the ass, a Mistcutter Hydra, and a Collected Company. But they don't have double green for the Harbinger yet, and they don't have enough mana for Collected Company in their hand, and Mistcutter Hydra we can just kind of deal with. It's not that much of a threat early game. It's good to know that they have that, though, in case they try to surprise kill us with it later. Yep. Yep. Hmm. <laughs> Fabled Passage. Let's just say go. They drew Llanowar Elves, okay. So they're gonna have double green. Whether or not I Field of Ruin Nykthos, so I'm going to Field of Ruin their Nykthos and Thought Seize them on my turn. Get a... Forest. Okay. Field of Ruin. Tap, tap. Field of Ruin you. I'm sort of leaning towards getting Collected Company with this Thought Seize. Normally I would be more worried about Harbinger, but I'm sort of planning on Wrathing soon anyway. Because they're going to get creatures eventually no matter what. We can't really stop that. The deck's kind of just full with them. Yeah, we'll take Coco. Pass the turn. So they're going to be up to 4 mana this turn, with their other Nykthos. They have a Werewolf Pack Leader, a Mistcutter Hydra, and a Garrick's Harbinger in hand. And one unknown. There's Garrick's Harbinger. That's fine. 
Yep. Tax for one, we're at 15. Yep. Yep. Nothing too exciting yet. Well, let's pass the turn. It'd be nice if we naturally drew a wrath. Because then we could actually get everything off the board. We're not going to have enough mana to Dark Petition and then Ritual of Sit off of it. Yet, at least. Great Henge. Huh. That's scary. That's a lot of cards for our opponent. Hits us for five. We take it. Down to ten. Hmm. Pack leader. Okay. Well, let's activate Fabled Passage, then the deck. Get another swamp. Draw for turn. Hmm. Alright. So we can Dark Petition... How much are we taking next turn without interacting? <laughs> We're taking lethal this turn if we don't interact at all. So we're definitely casting Dark Petition. Do we have to just get Crypt Incursion to get rid of these? It might be better to Might be better to just kill the werewolf pack later. Since it can pump itself. Yeah, if we leave these two, the werewolf pack later can kill us. So four, five, six, seven, we'd be at three. Oh, we're in a bad spot. Alright. Take Hero's Downfall. Hero's Downfall. This guy. Say go. If we draw Wrath this turn, we still have a shot. If not, we're pretty much just dead. Or if we draw Fog this turn, we still have a shot. Because we're sort of close to having enough mana to where we can Seasons Past Dark Petition loop with a Fog. So I'd be happy with either of those. Fog is at least a redraw, and Wrath keeps us alive for a turn, unless they Coco and kill us off of that. But they might be tapped out beforehand because of the Great Hench, incentivizing them to play creatures. Or they might just kill us with like a pump spell or something that we don't know that they have. Makes a million mana with Nykthos. Oh, big Mistcutter Hydro, of course, we're dead. Forgot about that. Well, I don't think there was something for us to tutor for with that Dark Petition that would have saved us instantly there, so... That's just sort of unfortunate. We didn't really have... We didn't really have the early game interaction that we needed to stay alive that game, and then in game one, in game one we had the interaction, but we didn't have the mana to support it. So... Still think that the match could have been... I don't think that this is necessarily a terrible matchup, but I think that we just drew awkward hands both games. Oh well. Go on to match 3.